Let's figure out how to enable different languages for your copilot right now. Currently, as Copilot Studio and Microsoft Copilot continues to roll out, there are definite language limitations on if your language is available and specifically if generative AI capabilities are able to be used with your language. Now, I'm actually going to link all of the Microsoft documentation down in the description down below. So you are gonna to wanna to check that out to make sure that these capabilities are applicable for your language. Microsoft tends to keep these regularly updated, so you can check it out there. Now, assuming that your language has the possibility to be added to Microsoft Copilot, or excuse me, a custom Copilot or a Microsoft Copilot, in Copilot Studio, then what you're gonna to need to do is navigate to your Copilot. You can see I am on my Coffee Copilot, and you're gonna to wanna to go to the Settings button in the top right-hand side. Now, if you do not see Settings, go ahead and select the three buttons here. You should see Settings then at the top, dependent on your window. It might shrink it down. Once you hit Settings, then you can find the kind of Languages tab here, here is where it will show you the primary language of your bot. Now, the primary language is set for your bot upon creation, but you can add any other secondary languages to your bot, again, assuming they're available. So in order to do that, you're gonna go ahead and select add language, and here is the current stack of languages that are available at the time of recording. Let's say I live in the United States and this Copilot is going to be used in North America, so I wanna add any potential, likely applicable languages that this Copilot we need to use. So we can do French Canadian, we can do Spanish, and that looks good to me at a first, first glance of the languages available. I can go ahead and select add. After a couple of seconds, it is going to show these languages in your secondary languages here, and you can add some further customizations for localizations. Editor Griffin here. I realized that as I'm going through and watching this video that I did a horrible job at explaining what this is here. So what this is, is you can actually download this file and. This is going to essentially outline all of the different text messages that your copilot can possibly say. And it's gonna kinda of add each one of these messages to a certain conversation node. And now what you need to do is you need to translate each one of these texts into the new language that you're gonna need your copilot to use. So for example, if I have this English chatbot and I need to translate it to Spanish, I'm gonna need to take this message, delete it and replace it with a Spanish message that says the same thing. This would be super, super tedious if you needed to go through and do this for every single line. I mean, there's likely hundreds of these in your Copilot, but thanks to Generative AI and Copilot, we can just utilize a simple prompt to ask it to update all of these for us in a matter of seconds, if not minutes. If this is you, I have put a good prompt example down in the description down below. You can copy that and paste it and then paste your file, but I guess just a disclaimer, make sure you're utilizing either some sort of safer generative AI capability. I don't necessarily think that this file contains sensitive information about your copilot, but I feel like it would be wrong of me to at least not mention that. Make sure you're doing this in a safe way. Once you have your file, then you can upload it here and then you're going to be good to go. And one disclaimer, I guess, on this disclaimer is I had found that in my experience, I was working on a project where we were trying to utilize a language that Microsoft claims it supports. Now this language isn't a huge language by any means, but it's it's in the docs, it says it's supported. And when we would do this translation and re-upload this file that it was actually changing our English as well. Like the entire bot now used this language. This was some sort of bug. We really weren't sure why this was happening. It was. I didn't test every language that's available, but when I switched it to a you know more widely used language, it was no problem. So 
If you are experiencing that, it's probably just due to the fact that Microsoft is saying this language is supported, but it's not. Cool, back to the video. You can also remove languages by selecting the three dots and then removing them. One thing I want to note is you will see that under my generative AI capabilities, I have this set to classic, as in this is going to use the topics you build to respond to trigger phrases, actions can only be called from inside a topic. If I wanted to set this to generative AI, you can, but currently at the time of recording, only for the English language. Now, why is that real brief? It's because of the large language limit, large language model limitations that are currently on Copilot. They don't have large language models built out for all of the languages that they're currently offering for generative AI capabilities. You can see here, it shows this. You, it, in order to use generative AI, you need your Copilot to be using English to enable and use generative AI, AI mode. Please remove any non-English languages from your co-pilot. So if I were to remove these and go back to generative AI, now that warning sign is gone, I can then set the co-pilot to generative. And now when I go back to languages and I click add language, you can see that all of these languages are grayed out. I'm sure that as the large language models continue to expand and Microsoft continues to make the AI more inclusive, that there will be more and more languages. So again, check out the documentation in the link below. Thank you to you for sticking to the end of the video of this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, considering let me know in the comments down below and liking the video. My name is Griffin Lickfeld, the host of the Citizen Developer channel. I'm excited to connect with you in the next one.